film opens with Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, arriving at Logan slash Wolverine's Hugh Jackman burial site in North Dakota. Frustrated, Deadpool discovers that Logan is indeed dead, leaving behind nothing but his adamantium skeleton. Just then, agents from the Time Variance Authority, TVA, show up, targeting Wade. In typical Deadpool fashion, he grabs Logan's skeleton and ruthlessly eliminates the agents. All while an in asterisk sync track plays in the background. He even dons Wolverine's iconic claws. The story then flashes back to 2018, where Wade, eager to prove himself as a genuine hero for Vanessa, Marina Baccarin, uses Cable's time travel device to interview with Happy Hogan, John Favreau, in Earth 616, hoping to become an Avenger. However, Happy is unimpressed, especially since Wade can't resist his usual antics. Dejected, Wade returns to his original universe, where he spends the next six years working at a car dealership with Peter, Rob Delaney, and retiring from his life as Deadpool. Wade and Peter head back to Wade's apartment to celebrate his birthday with a group of his closest friends, Vanessa, Blind Al, Leslie Uggams, Dopinder, Karen Sony, Negasonic, Brianna Hildebrand, Yukio, Shioli Katsuna, Colossus, Stefan Kapisic, Shatterstar, Louis Tan, and Buck, Randall Reader. Amidst the festivities, it's revealed that Wade and Vanessa have long since broken up and moved on. As the party continues, a knock at the door reveals the TVA agents. Mistaking them for strippers, Wade mocks them, only to be pulled through a portal. Wade wakes up to find himself face to face with a TVA agent named Paradox, Matthew McFadden. After learning about the TVA's mission, Wade assumes he's in trouble for overusing Cable's device, but Paradox assures him that's not the case. Paradox then presents Wade with an official offer to join Earth, 616, which Wade immediately recognizes as the MCU. Excited by the chance to finally fulfill his potential and save the world, Wade agrees, donning a brand new Deadpool suit, motivated in part by a vision of Thor weeping over a dying Deadpool. However, he learns from Paradox that the reason he is being sent to a new universe is because the anchor being of his universe, the one keeping the universe from falling apart, is dead, and that would be Logan. Wade's universe will be pruned as a result, and all of his loved ones will go with it. Deadpool then headbutts Paradox in the face and steals his universe jumping device to find a new Logan. Deadpool jumps through several universes to find a new Logan. He finds a comics accurate short one, one with the yellow and brown suit, and even one played by Henry Cavill, Wade almost knocks DC there, but they all claw him apart. He eventually finds one Logan at a bar, drinking his life away. After he passes out, Wade brings him back to the TVA, but Paradox tells him that not only will this not fix anything, but this Wolverine happens to be the worst one across all the timelines, as he is responsible for the downfall of his own universe. Wade and Logan also learn that Paradox and the agents in the room are working separate from the rest of the TVA. When Wade plans on revealing this, Paradox prunes both him and Logan. The two wake up in the void, where they violently duke it out. Wade shoots Logan while Logan claws Wade everywhere, mostly his balls, before they cool off and decide to work together to save Wade's universe and restore Logan's. They are then found by a mysterious outlander, Chris Evans, just before a group of mutant villains led by Pyro, Aaron Stanford, show up. Wade recognizes the outsider, thinking it's Captain America and getting excited to hear him say, Avengers, assemble. But the outsider instead says, flame on, meaning he is Johnny Storm. He goes full human torch, only for Pyro to drain his fire powers. Wolverine's old nemesis Sabretooth, Tyler Maine, shows up for a long-awaited rematch but Logan cuts through his neck like butter. The other mutants capture Wade, Logan, and Johnny. The villains bring the heroes to the fortress of Cassandra Nova, Emma Corrin, the psychotic twin sister of Charles Xavier who rules inside the giant skeleton of Ant-Man. Among her other minions are Juggernaut, Toad, Psylocke, and Azazel. To show she means business, Cassandra uses her powers to skin Johnny alive, and keep him standing consciously long enough before collapsing into a pile of blood and bones. She is also able to use her powers to literally dig her hands into Wade and Logan's brains to see into their memories, including how Wade and Vanessa broke up. The two are also unable to kill her with their weapons, 
and Cassandra prepares to leave them to be consumed by Aliath. Wade and Logan use the chaos as an opportunity to find a rocket leg that flies them away to safety. The two crash land somewhere and find a rundown diner to get whatever they can find to eat. Wade tries to figure out what's going on with Logan's situation, since he was so highly regarded as the face of the X-Men in Wade's universe, but Logan won't say more. Afterwards, the two come upon a small dog with a long tongue called Mary Puppins, aka Dogpool. Wade immediately falls in love with her and then meets a Deadpool variant named Nicepool, who is the friendliest Deadpool and also the only one that doesn't need to wear a mask because he's still handsome. He warns Wade and Logan about the Deadpool Corps will try to find them and kill them. Nicepool provides Wade and Logan with a minivan to drive away to the Borderlands so they can get back home. On their way, Wade accidentally lets it slip that he lied to Logan about the TVA being able to fix what went wrong in his universe. Logan chews Wade out for lying and says he will never be able to save any world since he couldn't even save his relationship with Vanessa. They get into another violent fight that lasts until they are both passed out. An unseen figure takes the minivan with Wade and Logan still passed out. They find themselves in a hidden base belonging to resistance fighters. Wade and Logan then meet, drumroll, please, Electronachios, Jennifer Garner, Blade, Wesley Snipes, and the never-before-seen Remy LeBeau, aka Gambit, Channing Tatum. The two then meet the leader of the resistance, Laura Kinney, Daphne Keene, who recognizes Logan as a variant of the man who was her father. They were victims of the Void and had many other friends killed by Cassandra, Daredevil, the 2005 Fantastic Four, Quicksilver, among others. They want to take on Cassandra, but Logan is not willing to join the fight. Laura later finds Logan sitting by a campfire and drinking Gambit's liquor. He finally explains what happened in his universe and why he never takes off the iconic yellow and blue suit. All of the X-Men in his universe wanted him to join them, but he refused. After a night out drinking, he came back to the mansion to find that they were all murdered. In his rage, he went on a killing spree where even innocent people got caught in the crossfire, and he wears the suit because it's all he has left of his friends. Laura says that he is the same as her own Logan was, but that he will be the right guy when it is necessary. He then has a change of heart and agrees to help take down Cassandra. Back on the outskirts on the void, Pyro contacts Paradox since the two are in cahoots. Paradox is planning to activate something called the Time Ripper, which will quickly prune Wade's universe faster than it is supposed to be destroyed. He orders Pyro to find Wade, Logan, and the other outsiders. No.